Alright, short video. Let's do this. Well, this is gonna be my first time trying um, to tank.
with you.
This structure must have served an important function. And here are yet more crystals. I too noted the crystal repository on the way. The Benthos seem to employ them in their spell casting. In such vessels did the ancients preserve concepts. Ideal forms to be drawn upon in the act of creation. That so great an abundance should reside here lendeth credence to Ishtola's conclusion. This facility held great significance. serve to forestall our doom. Nay, should we continue down this path, our fate will be the same. I said as much ethical to the convocation, of course, but the stubborn fools turn a deaf ear to my warnings. Okay, this is the group that opposed. Factor at least would side with us, but I regret to report our over overtures have gone unanswered. Mother, take your thoughts of it. In. Where you lead, we will follow. I shall not speak ill of the convocation. They too seek only to secure the future of our star. Plain, they will not count. They will not count to its permanent solution. That being, that being the case, we must ask ourselves a simple question: Are we? It was they who first summoned Hydaelyn. Their discussion did seem to imply as much, yes. I cannot say I have ever heard of this Venar before. For a certainty, Emmet Selk never uttered the name, speak though he did, of the schism which Zodiac's advent wrought upon mankind. Some were of the viewpoint that his power must needs be restrained. And to that end, did they call forth she who would serve as his shackles. We now know that it was this Venar to whom they looked for leadership. And that this place, in all likelihood, served as their headquarters. The presence of such intimate records attests to that. I would hear what else they have to tell us. All of it. Did anyone see the source of the image? The device there? Then let us see what other secrets it holds.
must it be you? If I may speak plainly, I would sooner it be another than any other. You are our leader. None can take your place. You know as well as I that but few support our case, far fewer than they who place their faith in Zodiac. If Heidelin is to stand a chance to oppose him, I am the one who must suffice as her heart. Oh. Rest assured, however, I shall not be vanished from this world. The form I take shall ever remain my choice. Then I will press on no more. Oedipus is the heart of Zodiac. Interesting. What? Forgive me, but did that not strongly imply that Elidibus sacrificed himself to become Zodiac's heart? Yes, it did. Seven hells. Then who or what are we dealing with? Okay, so now the question is, is where is Heidelin's heart then? The device appears to activate via a form of ethereal attunement, not unlike an aetherite. Beyond that, I can say little for certain, save that we should take this opportunity to see what other records it contains. formally emit a soft yet perceptible glow, that it doth no longer may be token the depletion of some essential energy within. Given how long it lay dormant, I think it fortunate it functioned at all. That may be, but if we can't get it to work again, we'll be leaving with more questions than we've answered. White robed emissary hath ever named himself Elidibus, yet if the shadow if the shade spoke true, Elidibus ceased to be ere even the sundering came to pass. That's true. This called to mind the truth that him itself did once reveal in passing that the names by which we know our foes are not those given to Asians at birth, rather they are titles of office afforded to individuals of merit at such time as the role become vacant. So we're not dealing with the same Elidibus. Perchance the Elidibus at Zodiac's heart and the emissary of with whom we are acquainted be not one and the same, but predecessor and successor. Ah, okay. That makes sense. It's possible. If the previous Elidibus perished before the final days, the one we know could still be savior of the could be a survivor of the sundering. And yet, something in that explanation rings false. I will remain for a time. I would not abandon my attempts to revive the device so soon. There is more to learn here. I can feel it. It 
matters, in matters of aetherology, I know of none as capable as thee. If there exists a means to learn more, thou wilt surely find it. Whilst thou art thus engaged, we shall attend to matters on the surface. must needs be afforded as much time as she doth require to complete her investigation. To the extent that such are within our control, yes. Speaking of which, perhaps we might trouble the exarch for news of his progress with the spirit vessel. He will no doubt wish to hear our own discoveries as well, such as they are. Back to the source. Maybe? No. I like the dance route fit, it may change it. Oh boy. Dare I ask what's going on? Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. We have a problem. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the guard or else one of the facets, and no longer wish to be so. In principle, all are free to change vocation at any time, but a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. As you may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. It's you! The Warrior of Darkness! You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. And not only here, but everywhere. Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. And we're job. trying to do the same. We may have our sky back, but there's no shortage of people who still need help. If we follow in your footsteps, then I choose to believe we too can be heroes one day, even warriors of light. What are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. They seek but to do good, as you have. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged.
What's happening to the sky? What in the world? <laughs> Another calamity. Oh, oh no. By the twelve. A star shower. I I hear a voice. You are not. Know. Why does it feel like it's inside my head? Hear, feel, think. I hear it. Me too. Did I not tell you, my friends? You are warriors of light. You're back! So we finally get what happened. <laughs> What you hear is the voice of light itself, and it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold. I'm a warrior of light. I've been chosen. Wow, that's a, oh. Can it be? Oh my God. Me, the hero. That's a, that's a good twist. Like, I didn't expect it. Oh, that's creepy. I did not expect it to hit that fast and that hard, but wow. Well played. Wait! The Falling Stars. Were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Nay, I think not. Though the stars I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered soul. That which you and yours call the Echo. And an Echo it is of a symphony, but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. But though sundered and forgotten, through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past, burned into your very ether, along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability just as Heidelin is wont to do when she has need of new minions. The Echo has ever been thought a gift from Heidelin, 
a boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto? Her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, one might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the self-same instant. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. Why then didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you. Uh, <clears throat> the more Elidibus reveals, the less I understand, but that he has made a fine mess of things is plain. He is gone. I've managed to persuade a number of our world, our would-be deserters to reconsider, or at least delay their departure, but as many are deaf to my entreaties, young Thyler and Vonda are among them, I'm sorry to say, they've quit the guard. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Whatever Elidibus's plan, plans for them might be, the pair have only ever had the best of intentions. One can hardly blame them for thinking themselves heroes elect, not after having been blessed with the Echo. And it's not as if we haven't shown shown the re, the request ah, requisite spirit. I quite agree. Though the impetuous for their sudden departure may have been spoken may have may have been words falsely spoken, the men and women of those footsteps would follow the heroes in truth, whereas of light art but yourselves most of all. And so I would ask a favor of you. Speak with them ere they embark on their journey and furnish them with what wisdom you can. They've set off for the armor launch, but should you be able to catch them if they leave now? That was just a jumble of last-minute words. Oh, God. <laughs> Worth the effort, I'd say. If I recall correctly, the Elder Sea took the time to usher you out into the wider world many moons ago. I think that comparison rather flatters Thaler and Vaughn. Vaughn. We're called Vaughn. But the point still stands. They would doubtlessly 
be greatly encouraged were the Warrior of Light himself to go see them off. If thou art willing, I pray thee go. Thou mayest safely leave the task of unfolding what that which did transpire to at the place do so. I wonder what Elidibus showed them. Like, was it the ending of his his time? Was it the... Like, which one did he... Like, I feel like he showed them a... Ending. I just don't know which ending. Like, he showed them a falling star, but c could it have been a falling star of ours? Could it have been a falling star of another shard? And I am not even in the right place. Uh, I mean, it's you, sir. Sorry, it's been a f funny old day. Huh. You can be sure we'll take those words to heart. I still can't believe it. You coming all this way just to speak to us. I swear, we won't let you down, so as long it helps someone, we'll do what needs be doing out there, no matter how small. And when larger threats loom, we'll be ready to face them. You see if we aren't. You see if we aren't. Eh? We'll be off then. Farewell, Warrior of Darkness, and thank you. Why do I have a feeling that later on they're gonna wind up like dead in some random reel? Or is this, or is this just like the random start of their own journeys? It'd be nice if it's just the random start of their own journeys. But it would suck if all of a sudden they're mid battle and just like next all of a, later on we come across them like they've lost their most recent battle. I'm just like Ugh. Like we come across their corpse, I'm just like, why? <laughs> just like you idiots, you fools, you should have stayed. You weren't ready. I don't know, I have some misgivings on it. Thank you for making the effort. I'm certain your words will be a boon to them. While you were away, the others told me of your investigation. We have yet to discuss how to proceed, however. While your findings in Anamnesis do raise important questions as the identity of your adversary, we are no closer to discerning his design, nor do I know of any other potential avenue of investigation. For which reason we must we must needs trust to Yustola's ingenuity and wait for her efforts to revive the ancient devices to bear fruit.
What if I were to attempt to follow the emissary? Elusive as he is, his plan compels him to court public attention. He shouldn't be impossible to find. Especially for one of your experience, it does seem worth the attempt. And I'll come too. Safety numbers. In combat, perhaps, but where stealth is required, the opposite is true. Happily, I don't plan on getting myself caught, so you've no need to worry. Nor do I intend to vanish for moons on end. We still have the MD to attend to, do we, don't we? And I have yet to start that, I just thought about that. Alright, then I look forward to your return. But it sounds like the rest of us should avoid doing anything which might prompted Elidibus to look too closely at our movements. In so far as it's possible, I recommend we limit our activities to the Crystarium. Speaking of which, Exarch, might I ask if you've made any progress with the Spirit Vessel? Of course, we are presently studying the principles underp underpinning memory transference and, I believe, nearly the requisite level of understanding. Less hearteningly, practical tri trials of transference methods suited for use with the vessel have yet to yield satisfactory results, to put it mildly. But there are still many promising possibilities we have yet to test. Indeed, though it may take some time yet, we are well on our way to a solution and I shall not rest until one is found. Though we are grateful for thine un unstinting efforts, thou needst not labor to the exclusion of all else. If it would serve to lighten thy burden, however little, I should gladly offer mine assistance. Quite. I, for my part, will do what I can to ensure the Crystarium continues to run smoothly in spite of recent disruptions. Then perhaps I could help. There may there must be something I can do, even if it's just guard duty. And Alize. Thank you, all of you. I shall breathe easier for your assistance. Of course, on the evidence of the recent past, it would not be it would not be long before some new crisis averts to throw thy plans into disarray. At which time your services will be in particular demand. That being the case, perhaps you might take this opportunity to retire to your suite at the Pendants. Like, I love the fact that Dancer's level 83, but I'm just like, I don't know what I want to, I don't know if I want to keep Dancer going, or go Monk, which is a level and a half away.
Master Destine, it's Leonard. From the Wandering Stairs, I apologize for calling so late. A friend of yours was asking after you. You may remember them from the business with the Cardinal Virtues. Oh, jeez. Uh, Dara. Uh, which one do I want to meet up with? to put this one. Yeah. <laughs> what charming accommodations. I had come to dine at the Wandering Stairs, you see. When I spied a considerable gathering of locals, then the sky caught fire and well... You must know what all this means. Anything you care to share with a friend? I kinda wish I didn't max up my classes for the roll cross, but because I would have loved to have... That is alarming, to say the least. It's all well and good that others have come to appreciate the Warriors of Light, but we cannot allow this charlatan to exploit their legacy, so... Yes, why not? We shall reform the indomitable duo that is Reek and Sapphire and put an end to his shenanigans. Slow down there, buddy. Like, I think the only one I did was with... Yes, I know. No need to say it. You have no intentions of involving me. I'm stupid, and I'm not naive. <laughs> but I'm not naive. <laughs> you are better hunter and a better person besides. I'm reminded of Rinda Ray, though that's hardly a surprise, is it? For her sake, for all their sakes, show this pretender what it truly means to be a hero. Foiled again. If 
I cannot imbue the infernal thing with my power via magical means, we may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all. Oh, that one well. He's crystallizing. Perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. I'm fine. And given to stubbornness, I'm afraid. Especially when I have a stake in the outcome. Okay, so was it this that Elidibus was showing us? Uh, is this Elidibus or is this Cenos? A recurring dream. They do so fascinate me. Might I trouble you for the details? I have always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens and the city. Nay, the whole world ablaze. Indeed. Could Emmett Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. The final days? Why, yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second-hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. The Tale of the World's End. So I think they're more or less fully setting up in Walker there. All right, so we are done with 5.2. We're gonna finish out with 5.3. That'll probably be, I'll probably break that that down into four videos. Um, no, three videos. Three videos of four quests each, depending on how things go. Um, and then we will start on the road to Endwalker. Um, until then. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and stay true to you. Laters.